Day six is all about vegan cooking. Did you know that it's usually much quicker to cook a vegan meal than it is to cook a non-vegan meal? 2020 research by Kantar found that the average vegan meal took just 14 minutes to prepare, compared to 31 minutes for a meal containing fish or meat. Get in. I love cooking from scratch and I try to do it whenever I can because it's a healthier and much more sustainable way to eat a vegan diet. And you don't need loads of weird and wonderful ingredients either. Today I'm suggesting eight easy swaps that you can make to veganize any meal without having to follow a specific vegan recipe. One, meat. Instead of steak or chicken chunks, try tofu or mushrooms. If you're cooking up a stew, a bolognese or a chilli, instead of mince, try lentils, beans or soy mince. Soy mince is what you guys in the US adorably call meatless crumbles. Two, eggs. Try scrambled tofu instead of scrambled eggs. Silken tofu for things like quiches. Yogurt can make a great binder. Flax seeds are a great substitute for eggs in cakes. I'm dedicating a whole video to eggs in just a few days. Three, milk and yogurt. Plant-based alternatives are widely available in supermarkets and they are delicious. Four, fish. I love to try a slice of firm tofu with a little bit of seaweed for that extra fishy flavor. Five, cheese. There are loads of vegan cheese alternatives out there. It's worth looking around to find the one you love. I'll be doing a cheese special in a few days too. Six, honey. Golden syrup, agave nectar, and maple syrup are all great substitutes. Seven, butter and margarine. There are loads of great plant-based alternatives out there and you can always use oil for shallow frying. Eight, cream. Try using the thick layer from the top of a tin of coconut milk, or you can make a great cream by blitzing up equal parts water and cashew nuts. If you want to delve further into vegan cooking, Veganuary has curated a list of our favourite vegan cookbooks on our blog. There's a link to that in the video description below. And don't forget that the Veganuary website is full of amazing plant-based recipes. I've linked to two of my favourites in the video description for today's video. Check those out and let me know what you think in the comments. I'll be back tomorrow to talk about cows' lives in the dairy industry. Until then, please do like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of these videos. Bye for now.